Hello, my name is Ann Beauregard. I'm the Ward 5 City Councilor, and we're here for Ward 5 in 10. Today is Tuesday, February 12th, 2019, and it's starting to snow. I might have a little bit of snowflake going on here in my uh, hair because it just started. Schools have been released early, City Hall is closed early, libraries are closed, and we're at 4 p.m. We will begin the winter storm warning, which everyone knows means no cars on the street. And there are lots where people can have their cars parked and they can be down there safely. Okay, again, uh, we always want people to make sure to check on their friends and family and take care of animals during these type of storms. And my name is Ann. 774-297-4939 or A Beauregard, B-E-A-U-R-E-G-A-R-D at C-O-B-M-A dot U-S, which stands for City of Brockton, Massachusetts, U.S. So a whole lot's going on. You would have received by now your uh, census, the city census. Please fill them out. Drop them off at City Hall or mail them. The more we get an accurate count of who lives in our city, the better off we are for getting federal funding and in some instances, state funding. And we need the funding. All we have to do is look at our roads. Always working on that. You, many of you individuals are justifiably concerned about your roads being a mess. And we want to get more funding to see these streets paved. So it's going to be President's Day weekend. And that means school vacation. Lots of fun things going on in the city, most of them free, whether it's the Fuller Craft, the Family Center, or the Broughton Public Library System. There's plenty to do. So don't forget to check it out. Sometimes you need to sign on. But there's great things for kids to do. And if you want to venture out, there's plenty of library pass, museum passes at the library that you can take advantage of. There's plenty of good things going on in our city and opportunities to go and venture forth. Now, as I always let people know, too, at this time of the year, that we're, the past three years, which is kind of fun to be able to say this, uh, if you live from Brookside Ave, Montello, on to School Street in this small area, there is an opportunity to get free trees for your home. And this is really great. There's already been over 1,400 trees planted in the city. And you're saying, why are you talking about this now? Well, this is the time that you put in your order or start talking to the Department of Conservation and Recreation. We have the pleasure of having Kyle and Matt with us uh, over the years. And they're familiar with the city. And uh, this goes up Manomat Street, Longwood Ave, Copeland Street, Brookside. Uh, Main Street, all the way down to School Street and West Down. So there's plenty of streets in that area where a lot of you probably live. Now, this isn't quite a ward, very little in Ward 5, but at the same time, a, tr a community with a lot of trees is a lovely community. It's better air quality. It protects your home in the winter. It protects your home in the summer. And it also, believe it or not, makes the community so more attractive and it lowers crime. So don't hesitate to give these guys a call. Leave your name and number because they're out and about in the Plymouth County area. 617-626-1503. Again, that's 617-626-1503. Or visit them online at their website, wildlandstrust.org slash greening the gateway cities. But try this wildlandstrust.org and that'll get you a whole lot. Remember, there's over 40 trees to choose from and this is an opportunity for your home and a lot of people have lost trees in the past few years with our terrible storms. Meanwhile, that leads me to next month, they'll have a free training program to learn about addressing these tree issues and this is all free and this will be at a li the library in the middle of March and where a lot of people that have this branch here or have that branch, um, you know, sticking out that could be a little bit dangerous. And they, they'll teach you how to handle all this. And this is all free. So don't hesitate to take advantage of it. As I always say to people, there are several ways you can be part of our community. Remember, you own Brockton, okay? And as I say, I'm Ian Borgard, the Ward 5 City Council. You can come to 
any meetings unless they're in executive session, and that happens very rarely, like maybe twice a year. So come on down, talk to us, visit us, check us, you know, check these meetings out. You can participate in them. Speaking to us beforehand in, in several instances during the meetings, whether it's zoning or conservation, whether it's license or whether it's parks and rec, okay? All this information is also on the city's website at brockton.ma.us. Meanwhile, as I say this, there's always an opportunity to serve on a board, and you might want to check that out. I always encourage people to give their skills back to the community. So many of you people are so talented, and, and in many instances, you've been doing a whole lot for the community. You still can if you so wish, and we welcome many others to join in and check it out, whether it's the schools, with the Community Schools Advisory Board, whether you're into sports, or whether you love art, I mean, from the local cultural council, to parks and recreation, to uh, license commission, to parking authority, I mean, it's all there. There's a whole lot planned on going on in downtown Brockton, but we'll see what really happens, because it's easy to talk, it isn't always so easy to do. Meanwhile, as I encourage all, this is going to be a city election later this year, but it's always important to be registered to vote. You've changed your name, you've moved, you might want to check it out. You can either go to the elections um, office at City Hall Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, or unless it's a holiday, or you can go online and uh, visit it at um, the Secretary of State's website and, and register online, or if you're changing your license, driver's license, you can do that there too. So, this, like I had mentioned before, we always want to have everybody knowing what's going on. And here's another positive thing to think about, community gardening. There's over 25 community gardens in the city, and people don't even realize that. So that's going to start kicking in next month too. In the month of February, it goes by so fast, and it's light out for longer, but it's still important for everyone to pay attention. There's a lot of people out getting off the commuter rail, walking, uh, the buses, and kids with school too. So it's very important to think about that. And it gets, it's still getting dark early, but at least we're getting a little bit more daylight. Meanwhile, we want everybody to have a safe school vacation. I want everyone to realize that they can call me at 774-297-4939. Or they can email me at aborigard at cobma.us. I just want to mention briefly that you can come to all these meetings, and I'll cite one that seems to be of utmost concern to so many, and once again, justifiably so, and that is the Traffic Commission. The next Traffic Commission meeting should be on Thursday, February 28th. We'd love to have you. We meet at 6 p.m., at the War Memorial Building. It's kind of unique because the parking is on the side of the building, then you have to walk in front and come into the, new, the addition part with the elevator and um, join us. And you can find out different things, concerns you have, whether people are parking in no parking areas, um, you, you need a, new, a sign somewhere, something like that. Please don't hesitate to call us. And again, you can email me at aborigard at cobma.us. Remember, you own this. You can't put it on eBay to sell it, and you can't have a yard sale. So the more you participate in the city, the better off you are. Again, I'm at 774-297-4939. It's aborigard at cobma.us. Everybody be safe and warm, and please, if you have concerns that don't necessarily fall in the purview of the city's governing body, call us and we might be able to connect you and we'll certainly do our best to, to someone that can help you. Thank you again for joining me on the Ward 5 in 10.